it's loud. Takara. <laughs> oh, it's so loud though. Takara. Oh, dude. What is this? Yeah. Oh. Yep. Yep, we're doing this. How long have you been eating YouTube? Why is it so loud? It's very loud. It's still very loud. Um, ladies and gentlemen, hello, good evening YouTube. Welcome to the Comic Cause Games channel, and we are playing a brand new game today! This is a very long intro cutscene! Intro Q! <laughs> oh... Yep! <laughs> Cherokee! Let's go! Let's -a go! Oh man. Oh god, I already had a house. Victorino. Alright, I guess we'll go over here then. I didn't know I already had a playthrough on this. Who are you? Your birthday month really doesn't matter either. I'm just gonna do February so I get the thing in February. <laughs> It's fine, it doesn't matter. Uh, this literally doesn't matter. <laughs> None of these things matter. We're pretending like it matters. Um, so we got six bodies to choose from at the start of the game. I should have done like a Twitter poll, just randomly asking people to pick a number between one and six. But we're gonna be the Mini Cooper today. Except it's not a Mini Cooper because copyright infringement or something. And I am going to be <laughs> Fast Man. I am Fast Man. <laughs> I would love to continue. Welcome to Choku Island. Oh, yes. A long time ago, the Grand Prix was held here on Gabe Koch. I don't know how to pronounce any of this. Controlled by the Nayaki town nobles. The world... Okay, sure. Among them was a young prince called the Emperor of the Races who had unbeatable power and speed. His name was Sartan Ir Arena. <laughs> but one day, something happened. I should have put, put on... Japanese text for just the uh, ambient effect. And now, 20 years have passed. Very interesting. Basically, this entire game is just farming money. And I used to farm money by giving, starting a new game, and just giving all the money that you start out with on the new character to my base character and you have to sit through this cutscene every single time and it's like eight minutes it's so long whoops Norkia <laughs> oh this game this game is not normal yep Why did I have that dream? <laughs> Something's going to happen. <laughs> oh my god. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, Churro Q is a game about sentient cars. Here I am, in fact. This is me as a sentient car. Yep. Here we go. <laughs> Fantastic. It's Borat! Or Barrett. Fast man. Hey, you're gonna be a racer. Everyone's talking. Why are they talking? They're cars! They don't have vocal cords! Too bad that you're slower than a snail going backwards. Unbelievable. This insult. 
I'm gonna be Eraser 2. I think it's exciting that we're in this together. Oh. <laughs> Let's work hard. I just know we'll race each other at the Grand Prix. Do you think so too? No. What? Hey, you're supposed to tell me yes. <laughs> Screw you. Or else I can't continue with the game introduction. Wait! <laughs> Wait! I've never pressed no on this part. Wait. <laughs> Are you serious? Let me ask you again. Do you think so too? No. Wow. Okay. Your first big choice in the game. Let's at least... Let's get at least third place in the Beginner's Cup. Then the team might give us some respect for our skills. Bruh. Bruh. I've been... I've had this game for how long and I didn't know that? This game is clever. <laughs> Charo Q. Hello and good evening YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. We are playing Charo Q today. And I, my mind has been blown, honestly. So, we're gonna go to the parch. <laughs> you can, like, I think you can win the first race without buying an upgrade, but, like, that's really pointless. We sh we're just gonna have to grind money this entire game anyway, so we may as well get something good straight out the gate. And usually you want to start with steering. That's pretty cheap, so I'll probably, yeah, let's install that. Transmission is usually pretty good. Pretty good. I'd rather have a five speed. I think I can have. Well, I'm probably not going to be able to afford it. But the best thing about this game is that when you buy and install parts, instead of like all those other games where you have parts and then you buy new parts and then they're just worthless, you can actually sell your old parts. Now I have more money. Woo! But yes, this is a game about sentient cars that race. I wonder if there's ever been a game about sentient cars that has not involved racing. Do you think? Do you think? Is that seriously all I can afford right now? Okay, multi-tires are really good. I think racing tires might be better, but we'll never find out because I can't actually see what they're worth until I actually get So we're going to install that part. And... We're going to sell the old tires, because you only need one set of tires. Don't you know that you never have to replace tires on your vehicle ever? You just have the same ones forever. So we'll sell that, because it's objectively awful. And I might, might be able to afford something else of value here. But I doubt it. Turbo's good, but can't afford it. Uh, front stop, that's not really useful. And it looks stupid. I thought the ornaments were cheaper, but I guess not. And even this stupid garbage is expensive. I think that was more expensive than the steering parts, dude. Okay. In this game, it is a RPG, basically. And it's really stupid. <laughs> I don't know why it exists. Uh, this is actually like game number four, I think. In the Churro Q thing, but like this is the only one that got made in America or something. But basically, like it's a free roam based game and the map there. But whenever you come here, you know, you got your menus and whatnot. Um here's all my stuff. I don't have a lot of stuff because I just started the game. <laughs> yeah, but we we'll we'll have a lot of stuff there eventually. There's gonna be a lot of things there eventually. <laughs> Uh, the internet shop is really cool, but you have to discover the shops before you can actually, you know, do this. So you actually have to go out into the environment and actually go do the thing and all that. Um, here's a newspaper. Look at that sometimes. Grand Prix starts. Racing continues to bring yawns to fans. Where have we heard this before? Difficult season for teams so vast. I hope I don't get the YouTube algorithm to do this when I'm actually talking about these things because I'm pretty sure I'm going to join that team in this game. Notice from Thunderball! We'll be there anytime! Thank you, Thunderball. 
You're always there when we need you. There are a lot of different events in this game, and sometimes you literally cannot do these events if you miss it. I'm probably going to follow a walkthrough, because I'm going to try and do everything in this game, because I feel like it. <laughs> That'll probably change by the time we get to like 50% completion and I'm like on part 70. Oh, this game is just drawn out as all, all hell. So, high speed oval S. We are going here. Let's go! Yeah! Playing game. So yes. Choke So in this game you have to race. We always get off to terrible starts for some reason, but the, it'll come back to us. We just got the gear ratio set up for the long run here. Which is kind of unfortunate considering the fact that this is a one lap race. Oh, it's gonna be close. All oh, all those upgrades that I just paid for. There's no draft in this game either. Oh! I don't think I'm gonna get there. Come on! Oh, it's so tantalizingly close! I'm not gonna get him! Oh, I don't know who won. I don't think I won. This would actually be a really good replay to watch. And I guess I'll exposite a little bit here, so... I got this game from my grandma. Because back when she worked at this department store, they had, like, this game on the shelf. Like, that was the only place in town that you could buy games at. It had this game and a bunch of other garbage. And my grandma bought me this game because I like cars. And, yeah. That's the whole reason. This is so obviously a Mini Cooper. I don't know how they got around the copyright for this because these are all very clearly, very clearly rip off cars from the real world equivalent. Uh, that's a Lancer, that's a Mini Cooper, that's the, uh, I think that's a Lamborghini or a Mercedes Benz. It's German, you know that? I saw a Volkswagen Beetle there. What are these camera angles though? Yeah, we're at the line. I fucking lost, unbelievable. So that's worth a whole $1,500, so that's great. I think that'll be enough to afford something, you know, of value here, so. Get that upgrade. I think that's the only race I'm capable of winning right now. Tips from Barrett. When you select parts, choose tires and steering. Well, tell you what, I did exactly that. I didn't need to do exactly that. Yep. Alright, so we get a mail and we can do this. There are gals who are road racing in the Northeast. They must be the tough chicks. Watch out. They'll take your money if you lose. Seriously. Great. It's exactly what I need to have happen, is losing money at this point in the game. Meet the Choro Cues in town. You could get good info. Wrong. False. Incorrect statement. The Choro Cues in, the, in a town are so stupid. <laughs> They're so mind-lumbing. Mind-lumbing. Mind-numbingly dumb. I can't afford anything, can I? Unbelievable. This is really why I needed to win that race, because I probably would have gotten twice as much money out of it. And finishing goddamn second. Now the problem with this game is that time passes naturally. So we do the same race over and over and time is going to keep passing. Oh, it was only 1800. Okay, well. Maybe it would. Maybe that wouldn't have pushed me over the finish line as far as actually getting money is concerned. Alright, attempt number two at this race. Can I actually win it this time? Probably not. Let's go. Whee! I'm going to try and get, yes, try and get the push from that guy. So that I get a bit of a jump there, a bit of a better start. And we just gotta stay all the way on the bottom. I don't wanna go in the grass. Cause that's gonna slow me down, just like it's slowing these guys down. I don't wanna turn too hard, otherwise it's gonna naturally slow me down like a dirt to Daytona. It's not even gonna be close, I'm just gonna lose outright. Well, $1,500 is $1,500. And considering the fact that we're gonna see this race probably another 10 times, I'm just gonna call it. I'm just going to call it what it is, and that's fine. Letters are important. Even if you complete the races, you need to do things in order in the letter to join a team. Alright. Sure. Okay, can I afford something of abject value yet? Please give me something of value. Okay, okay. I still can't afford that. That's fantastic. You see, the problem with this game is that you'll find yourself grinding up 
to the best possible item instead of just buying something that's only sort of good because just the value of the thing is just not there. Increases acceleration, yeah, by quite a bit as you can see. Oh yeah, you can't buy accessories on the internet shop for some stupid ass reason. Um, probably because of like shipping or something, I don't know dude. It's stupid, this game is stupid. I need $2,100 for that. That's two more races, that's two more second place finishes at that stupid oval track. I think I just need to bite the bullet and get the two cylinder engine, but like these are so close. Oh, there we go. Did you see that? There's a gra graphical glitch that was happening there. That was interesting. But yeah, like the high speed oval is the only track you're gonna be competitive on because you know, there's also other places you can race. But like, there's only one, you're only gonna be competitive in the beginner's cup anyway. Trans trip. Transsexual racetrack. Let's actually give it a shot, fuck it. There's not a lot of, uh... Oh, there's Barrett. Sometimes the characters that you're racing against will talk to you during the race. It's like Juice 2 in that sense. <laughs> Juice 2, right here. It's practically the same game. But yeah, there's very little actual things as far as strategy is concerned in this game. Really, your only strategy is to buy the best possible parts and then just go fast. Um, there's really not much more to it, but... Yeah, so we're competitive with Barrett. That's kind of unfortunate. I got a bad draw here just to have to be racing against Barrett at all. Because in this game, when you're racing against Barrett, that's automatically just it harder. That's just winning this race is a lot less likely now. Because he's just got better parts to start off with, by far, than you do. So, basically, I probably could have won this race if he wasn't in here. But now I'm not even sure if I'm going to finish second. Because of these bastards. So, yeah. Well, that's just how the cookie crumbles, I suppose. It's a good thing that I have a higher top speed than everyone else, though. Even with the worst possible transmission in the game. So see, I'm going to finish second again. Another race, another second place. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. This is just Chase Elliott Simulator. Unbelievable. I can't stand. Can't stand the fact that I'm sucking. So much suckage in such little time. Yeah. It's really annoying how they have that long loading screen for the replay. So. Another $1,500. Sweet. Thanks. Anywhere else I can race that? I think, like, if we go to a track that's the shorter one, it's, it's a bad idea because you saw how much faster everyone else was. So, yeah, this one. This one is not good for a low-speed driver. See, it's really short. It's like a shoe, shoe-shaped track there. So you remember how I said we're going to be grinding in this game? Well, this is the third time that we've come to this race. Oh, I think that guy in the Lancer is in here. Oh, I might actually be able to win this. Because the guy with the Lancer decided to not show up to the track today. Well, that was nice of him. Let's go. Woo! Oh my god, dude! The first W of the playthrough, it's gonna come 26 minutes into the playthrough, oh... Oh no... Finally! <laughs> money! The money is mine, but also... We want a free vehicle! Yay, now I can change the body! Woo! $8,700, you love to see it. You love to see the money. Let the money, the power of the money flow through you. Five-speed automatic. Yay, now we're going to be super overpowered. Woo! Which is good, because screw everyone. $2,400, so I can't afford anything. So, screw it. We're going to leave. We're going to leave the useless internet shop. And we're going to leave the useless house. Yeah. Oh, and there's no autosave in this game. So if I forget to save, we're screwed. So no matter how much money you have in the game, or how many upgrades you have, you always have during this little uh, open world part, you always have the same speed. So here's the paint shop. Paint the car. 
Why would you want to do that? I don't know. Costs a hundred dollars and 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 ten thousand. Ten thousand for the unique paint. I can think of so many different things to spend ten thousand dollars on in this game, and painting the car is not one of them. But there is actually a good thing about having not much money right now because at the start of the game, uh, the body shops are really cheap. So if you think the Mini Cooper is a pile of shit, well, then you can go over here and get yourself a new body for $1,000. So it could be the ones you said no to earlier, or a Skyline. A Skyline, you say, yeah. Yeah, look at this. Just look at this. Skyline, that's also a Nissan. Oh man, I wonder what this is. I wonder what this could possibly be based off of, dude. Based off of, like it's got the it's got the lettering too. It's got the logos. And there's a car from the '40s. There's a. Is that a Ford Escape? That's a 300Z S2000. We're gonna be a true machine of speed, which is why we're going to be getting that. Truly. Truly the best in aerodynamics, truly the best in looks. Hello person, I was told to talk to you. There is a water fountain in the middle of the town. Yep. My goodness. And here's the other body shop. I already spent money at the other body shop, so I'm probably not gonna do it here. As cute as a bug! Did they pay for the rights? Oh yeah, and there's this disgusting thing. I'm not even sure what this is supposed to be, dude. I'm honestly not even sure what this is supposed to be. But like, that's not even a graphical glitch. That's not even a graphical glitch. That's just how this looks. That's just this body. It just looks like that. Like, it's only a thousand dollars, so I guess I'll buy it and show you. This game is broken. But yeah. Now it's night, because I went into three different buildings, so now it's night. Which means we are going to be going in this direction. Why are we going in this direction? I don't know. You tell me. I don't know why we'd be going in this direction. Oh! Oh, a cutscene! We've been waiting for you, dork! <laughs> Kevin, we're Binalt and Dactan, members of the Tough Chicks. Why don't we race from here to the next intersection? But if you lose, you have to fork over your money. Fantastic. Fantastic. All right, we're racing. Here we go. And we're off. Move over. Sir Bildalt coming through. What? You're faster than me. I mean, it couldn't have anything to do with the fact that I just bought the five-speed transmission specifically for this race. And race is over. Nice. Truly spectacular. I've tried putting cheat codes into this game, and they don't work. It's very aggravating. I got an A rank, though. That doesn't matter in the slightest, but I got an A rank. Hello. Are you happy you beat me? All right, I'll, I'll let you go this time. Oh, man. Oh! The guy from the cutscene at the start! Okay, that's enough. Stop acting like a baby grow up. Oh, no. It's the crazy old racer. Let's burn rubber. Oh, my goodness. Don't waste your talent on such stupid games. You're a troll cue. Dream big. Be a grade pre racer, okay? I'll listen to your problems. Thanks. <laughs> Excellent. This game is a truly revolutionary step in the whole uh, car game genre, you know? Oh, man. I'm not sure if I want to play this anymore. <laughs> I'll tell you about braking. Before you go into a sharp turn, brake a little. It's the basics. Hold the brakes and you'll spin. Press the button bit by bit. No, we're not going to press the brakes in this game. No brakes. Zero brakes. Latoba's Cafe is the best cafe in Bra 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 Bratchy Town. 
any racer would stop by. If you're a racer, you should stop by too. It's located in the northwest by the water fountain. Owner, Latoba. Fantastic. So how exactly did the cars send the letters to me? They don't have hands. They don't have fingers to type. Real racers compete in Pro Cup. Pro Cup is set to bring outstanding performances. The crowd's expectations towards the race only continue to increase. Oh, and don't forget the notice from Thunderball. They're still here, guys. All right, let's take a look at that body. Let's take a look at that body, though. So, they released the game with just, just this. 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 Look at this. This is just in the game. What am I looking at? We gotta use it at least once. Holiday Cup, Uptown Resort, a course along a beautiful coast. We got two laps, $3,000 for the win. Let's go. I think I have a good enough car to win this. Look at this. Look at this. What am I looking at? Like, what is the excuse? Yeah, the five speed's really kicking in here, you can tell, just these long straights. I'm just obliterating them on the long straights. This game exists. It's like a different version in Japan, you know? And like I said, this is like game three. Game three in the... Ch oh my god, dude! The Japanese version of Chorky, there's three of them. I think this is game three or four or something. I've been looking for the other Q games for a long time, but they're so expensive, number one. And they only play in Japanese PS2s. I don't have a JPS2. I wish I had a JPS2. I've been thinking about getting one, but they're like $200 on eBay for some reason. It's like, you know, I want to continue the Q story, but like, not that much. I don't want to continue it that badly. It's not that important of a objective to reach here. So I'm second again, just like I have been throughout this entire game, except for one time. Except that one time. I'm going to hope that I can hold on to second at the line, get $2,000 out of this race. Ooh, it's a good thing they have the arrow indicators because you can't look back in this game. There's no look back feature. You just have to use the indicator arrow. I'm pretty sure it was hard. It would be harder to program the indicator arrows than it would be to just program a look back feature. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a game designer, so I don't know. Well, that's two thousand dollars, I guess. So that's good. That put me back up squarely to forty-two hundred dollars. So I still have nothing to spend it on. Guess we'll go back here. It is Oriental Challenge M. A nostalgic course, <laughs> if you say so. It's got very, uh, very, uh, thematically appropriate music. I will admit, I have used music from Churoku games in the background of other videos in the past. Because they're actually pretty decent. Yeah, look at this. We just fire off so slowly. Just have Jeff Gordon restarts every single race start. There's no caution. Could you fucking, could you fucking not? Because you see, in this game, sometimes the characters actually do block you. The game is programmed to block you. But it's only some characters. Others it doesn't. Actually. Yeah. It's good music. Very loud. Music is very loud. I should... No, there's no access to uh, audio settings in here. Oh, and there's two different pause buttons. If you press pause, this is what comes up. But if you press select, there's that menu that comes up, so. I'm not entirely sure what the developers were on when they came up with that system, but it's, it's, it's good. It's good. Don't worry, we didn't magically become faster between the previous race and this one. 
We are still definitely slow. And if I kept uploading, oh, he bounced! Oh, too many bounces for the Impreza, dude! Or Lance, or whatever he's in. I don't care. I don't. It doesn't matter. I'm in the lead. That's what matters. See, that is why having a fast car is overpowered. If you're slow in the corners, that's fine. Just as long as you've got the speed on the straight. Oh no! Oh no! We're bouncing! Oh, we're bouncing! Bounce, bounce. You know I love the way you bounce, bounce. Symphatic ever released like a second album? It, you know, usually the one-hit wonder groups release a second album and sometimes even a third album, but very rarely, very rarely do they get past that third album. Usually it's a miracle to get to the third album. But then you have a lot of bands that have one amazing album but don't release anything else, and it's like, why? Why do you deprive us of good music? Why you have to be like that? Why you have to be like that? We want music. And then you have a really good musician, and then they only release one album. It's very stupid. I won, dude, $3,000 for me. Oh, and you saw that at the very end. That's a thing called spinning out. We're gonna probably do it a lot in this game, because this game sucks. Because instead of actually making the cars difficult to drive, they just made it so that if you drift too hard, you spin out and die. And that artificially slows you down. Well, I got another trophy, so that's good. And I got... Oh! Oh, look at that! Speaking of drifting... Yeah. Alright, I'm actually gonna go out into the, uh... Into the, uh, adventure field here. After you get tires and steering, get an engine and transmission. Well, alright, sure. Do I have a letter? No. Why isn't anyone sending me mail? I feel so... ignored. I want to be the PT Cruiser for a while. I'm going to try and use as many different bodies as I can during this. The surface grip is important during the race. Even a little jump decreases the grip. No shit. You won't be able to accelerate, so you'll fall behind. Try driving without jumping. That's a lot easier said than done, buddy. All right, here's the options menu. Finally, finally. Controller, vibration, return to the title screen. There is no audio settings. Great. I guess I'll save the game and leave and then adjust the godforsaken audio settings. Oh, so there's no way to actually adjust the volume. Very cool, so it's just going to be loud forever. Um, I don't know where to go next. A lot of these are environmental races that will be affected by your environment. Like this one, for example. No, wait, this one is not. Since I got all the upgrades, I'm going to be able to easily win this race. So, yeah. I like it when it's easy. I like it when it's a guaranteed victory. But even still, with all these upgrades, all these upgrades, there's driving around me. Even the trash man's getting in on this. Unbelievable. So as you can see, we're drifting right now, but there is no extremely loud screeching tire sound effect. I'm not going to win this race. I'm not even going to finish third. Come on! Faster than that! You gotta be faster than that! Come on! No! No! Oh, we're gonna get second! That's good enough. It's good enough. It's good enough to advance in the game. That's what matters. Good enough to advance in game. I don't need the extra $300. We're fine. Come on, feel the pain. Oh, now it's Toy, toy Dream Circuit Long for the other one. It's probably better because it's going to be longer. Well, maybe not. <laughs> After seeing that track map, yeah, maybe not. Join a team. Just going to a team will work. Just get... This is the Beginner's Cup and the Holiday Cup. I feel like you've told me that around five times now. Alright, I'm tired, dude. I gotta give it up for this one, so... This has been... Maybe you're hearing this, maybe you're not. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. And I overdrove the corner flow. Going 40 miles an hour into this corner, and I'm still overdriving the track. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's spinning! What a fucking Chad! What a fucking Chad! Did you see that?
This absolute fucking beast! Oh my god, I can't even be mad! That was such a good save! Holy shit! That was so good! And I can't fucking drive forward because this car sucks and this track sucks and this game sucks.